Hello guys, another one of IJL Tells Reviews. Today we're reviewing uh, a game. It's kind of like um, the... Um, it was kind of like the only Minecraft on the Xbox before, you know, Minecraft made an Xbox version. It's, um, uh, it's got... What am I trying to think of? It's basically boring as hell. It's like a giant Legos game and... Unless you have like a serious like problem well if you're like me and you don't like games where you're basically just building shit then you're not gonna like this game at all like it's literally just building and you don't get any satisfaction fun and you're bored to fucking death until you build like the biggest possible thing you can and then you get like two seconds of enjoyment and then you're like okay so like yeah uh, I don't care anymore it's basically a complete copy off of Minecraft. It was trying to copy Minecraft before they actually made a Minecraft version on the Xbox, and now it's and now it's pr basically useless. And all the people that bought it are really sorry that they did. Except of course my brother, who is sitting right behind me building a floor on something. Anyway, it's basically kind of an annoying game because you're just. You can't even collect blocks at all. You just get blocks and then they're all free and you just build shit. And all the only thing epic or even nearly close to good is like uh, I forgot what it is, but one of the one of the world types that you can select is like what people look for in Minecraft, like freaking arches and floating islands and shit like that, and that's all it is. And basically the only reason I would suggest buying that is if you want to make like you just want to look at that otherwise this has no value whatsoever and as far as I'm considered I wouldn't buy it my brother bought it with his own like money well actually no he bought it with my mom's money on accident because he thought he was earning money from some sap on the friggin internet who was paying him to boost with him who actually ended up stealing our credit card and paying us with our own money so yeah Basically, she st he stole like $300 basically from my mom's account. Right now you're going to see me building the frame of a house because I was just going to very, very hard. I was trying very hard to do something entertaining and do what most people do in these things. It's just, it's insanely boring. So once you see me basically just get the outline, I'm carving out the foundation. I'm just going to do the outline of it. I'm not even going to fill it in before I get bored as hell and end up just stacking a bunch of random blocks up trying to see just like randomly jumping around. The only thing that's cool about Castle Miner is the fact that it has a completely counterpart that's nothing like it called Castle Miner Z which I have another IGL Tells review on which is like you get guns and stuff and you get you have to get you have to get materials legitly kind of like in Minecraft and it's like the zombies are everywhere and you're just fighting them I don't know I like it a lot better there's like a hell level where you get to um, there's like a hell level where you attack you have to fight like the devil and shit and there's all kinds of crazy strong monsters and shit it's amazing and like Basically, it could be fun to people with a really, really long attention span who just, like, really are interested in building shit. And like I said, that one type of landmass where it has all the arches and shit that you look for in, in, um, uh, in Minecraft and you, like, beg for in your world, it has all that, and that's basically the only appeal. But... If you want to play this game, you've got to have a really long attention span, and you've got to, I guess, what what would I say? Um, you would have to not want a lot of satisfaction from it, because, like, you spend four hours-ish just being bored out of your freaking mind and not enjoying yourself whatsoever, and then you end up, you know, finishing it, and then literally there's, like, two seconds of enjoyment, and then you're like, I wasted all my time on that. I gotta go do something better and you spend even more time being bored and you probably get four seconds that time since you made something bigger it's basically useless I wouldn't I wouldn't actually uh, 
suggest that you get it. It's just, if you're like me or anything like most human beings, you're not going to want to play the world's most boring game. Yet, my brother, for whatever reason, mainly because it's a really good way to just not even pay attention and talk to his friends, that's that's what this game is for. If you and your friends just want to, like, get in there and just basically do not shit and just sit around and, you know, build weird stuff and spell out crap like tits and stuff like that in a thing. Yes, I just ripped that off one of my brother's worlds. But anyway, if you want to do stuff like that, then you're going to end up liking this game. And if you have friends that actually care enough to go hang out with you in a gay game like this, then you're going to want to do it. Otherwise, there's no actual value. And as a game, this is a piece of shit. In all ways, in all senses of the word. Really, I don't even know what to say. It's like... Lego games are better than this game, mainly just because Lego games have some kind of storyline to how you get the blocks and shit to build stuff, and there's a storyline that you use the stuff that you build with. This, this isn't even based off of an awesome childhood toy that most, like, little kids, even kids who play with Legos are going to hate this game. I promise you, if you've never had a friend that's going to play a game like this, then you should not play it. Look at this. I'm using lava right now to climb up. It's not hurting me, and it's not going to burn this wood. It's an actual block. It just looks like lava. Nothing has any animation or is considered to be real. This is basically a game where everything just looks like it. You can't actually, nothing, no blocks actually interact with each other ever. Basically... If you don't like either hanging out with your friends a lot, getting very little satisfaction over, over something that took you forever, or if you don't like freaking, you know, or if you just like, you know, sitting here watching very boredly your hand go up and down, which is holding a really tacky pick, which you can't change anyway, no matter what, and no matter what you do to your character, you still look like shit, I would actually, I don't know. Buy Fortress Craft, don't buy this. Okay, if anything, buy Fortress Craft, because this is a very terrible game. Yeah. And now my mom's going to talk while I'm commentating like I always tell her never to do. Anyway, there's no fall damage, as you see. Who are you talking to? Really, Mom? Really, Mom? I have a mic in my hand, and I'm looking at a gameplay, recording a narration, and I'm not... I'm not... Hold on. You're, you're, okay, sure, in the boot, hey, whatever, all right, anyway, back to this game, I really don't know what to get, tell you guys, this is a very bad game, you should get, like, if anything, look up Castle Miner Z just to see the word Castle Miner Z, don't actually get Castle Miner, go away, go, go back in your room, Mom. Now my brother, though, I don't know how he gets all this enjoyment out of it, but he's actually got a pretty interesting looking world. But, I'll tell you something, I don't know what it's like to 